Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to take the problems on parallel resonant circuits. I had already covered the different formulas related to parallel resonance and the basic concept of parallel resonance in the previous video. If you haven't checked that video, please check that link in the description box and then you can easily solve the numerical problems based on parallel resonance. So I will be considering four different prob problems which will have parallel circuits and we have to apply the concept of resonance in them. So let's start with the first problem. First problem is a coil of resistance R and inductance 0.1 Henry and having a quality factor of 0.5 uh, quality factor of 5 is in parallel with a capacitor. So we have a coil with resistance R and inductance L in parallel with a capacitor C. The quality factor is given which is 5. Determine the capacitance and the resistance at resonant frequency of 500 radian per second means angular resonant frequency is given 500 radian per second. Also the value of inductance is also given 0.1 Henry. Now the formula for the quality factor that remains same irrespective of whether it is a series circuit or parallel circuit. So we know that the Q naught is given as omega naught L by R. Q0 is 5, omega0 is 500, L is 0.1, here we have R. So resistance from here comes out to be 10 ohm. Then we have to find out capacitance. Now for finding out the capacitance, we have to use the expression of resonant frequency for a parallel circuit which consists of a capacitor in parallel with a series combination of resistance resistance and inductance. This from formula we had already derived and it was omega naught is equals to 1 by Lc minus R square by L square. So we have the value of omega naught 500. We have the value of L as 0.1. C is unknown. R is 10, L is 0.1. So, what we have 500 square that is equal to 0.1 C minus 10,000. So, rearrangement of this equation and the solution will give us the value of capacitance as 38.46 microfarad. So, all these formulas which we have used in this problem had already been derived in the video of basics of resonance. So you can check that video also for the formulas. The second problem states a coil of 10 ohm resistance and 0.2 Henry inductance is connected in parallel with a variable capacitor across 220 volt 50 hertz supply leading to resonance. So we have similar type of circuit. The difference is this capacitance is variable. Resistance 10 ohm, inductance 0.2 Henry. And this one is connected across 220 volts, 50 hertz. Leading to resonance means resonant frequency is 50 hertz. Then we have voltage 220 volts, resistance 10 ohm, inductance 0.200. What we need to calculate? We need to calculate the value of capacitance for resonance, dynamic impedance of the circuit and supply current. For calculating the capacitance value we have the same formula but now the frequency is in hertz. So the formula will get little bit modification that we will have one upon 2 pi and the root 1 by Lc minus R square upon L square. Let's use all these values. 
50 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root 1 by 0.2 c minus 10 by 0.2 square which gives us the value of capacitance as 49.41 microfarad. You can check these answers by your calculations. The next part is we have to calculate the dynamic impedance. Dynamic impedance is the impedance offered by the parallel circuit at the resonance which is given by L by CR. So, L is 0 0.2, C is 49.41 into 10 raised to a minus 6, R is 10. So, dynamic impedance Z is 404.78 ohm. And the last part of the problem was we have to calculate the supply current. Now, supply current I is actually V upon the dynamic impedance. If the voltage is 220 volts, dynamic impedance is 404.78. So, supply current for this circuit is 5.44 MPS. Then we have the next problem in which a circuit is given. We have to calculate the value of R in this circuit to achieve the resonance. Now, if we just go back to the condition of resonance, the condition is the power factor of the circuit should be unity. So, when we say power factor of the circuit to be unity, it means the voltage and current they are in same phase and this is possible only if the reactance, the net reactance of the circuit is 0 or the net susceptance of the circuit is 0. So, in this circuit we will have the value of two different impedances Z1 and Z2. Z1 can be written as R minus J2 ohm, Z2 as 10 plus J10 ohm. These two are connected in parallel. So, we can calculate Y1 as 1 upon Z1 and Y2 as 1 upon Z2. So, this 1 upon Z2 is 10 plus J10 which can be written as 0 0.05 minus J0.05 ohm inverse. And Z1 is R minus J2. Since the resistance is unknown, we can't find out its inverse. So, we can just rationalize this by multiplying it with R plus J2 and dividing it by R minus J2. So, we will have R plus J2 upon R square plus 4, which the real part is R square plus 4 plus J2 upon R square plus 4 is the measuring part. Y is equals to Y1 plus Y2 in the parallel circuit. Y1 is R upon R square plus 4 plus J2 R square plus 4 and Y2 is 0 0.05 minus J point 0 0.05. So, we can separate out the real and imaginary part. So, this part represents a net conductance of the circuit while 2 upon R square plus 4 minus 0 0.05 that represents a net susceptance of the circuit. So, the net susceptance of the circuit, this should be 0. So, 2 upon R square plus 4 minus 0 0.05, it should be equal to 0. Now, the solution of this will give us the value of R as 
just give me a minute. So we have 2 upon r square plus 4 equal to 0 0.05 and this gives us the value of r as 6 ohm. Now for the circuit to achieve the resonant condition, the resistance which is connected in series with the capacitance that must be equal to 6. Now coming to the last problem, this problem states that a circuit consisting of 12 ohm resistance, 0.3 Henry inductor and a variable capacitor is connected across 100 volt 50 hertz AC supply. Find the value of capacitance. Now one thing is missing over here. At resonance and that resonance is corresponding to 50 hertz. Now the supply frequency is raised to 60 Hz and the voltage remaining seen at 100 volts. Find the value of capacitance C2 to be connected across the above series circuit so that the current drawn from the supply is minimum. Now in case when we are connecting the capacitance C2 in parallel with the series circuit, so that will giving us the condition of parallel resonance. And at resonance in parallel circuits, the current is minimum. So, current drawn from the supply is minimum states that the parallel circuit is also under resonance conditions. So, firstly, we have to do the calculations for the series resonance, then we will move on to the parallel case. We have a resistance, inductance, and capacitance. The resistance is of 12 ohms, inductance 0.3 Henry. Let us say this capacitance is C1, it is unknown and this one is connected across hundred volt 50 hertz supply. So we can say in first part the resonant frequency is 50 hertz and we have to find out the capacitance. It is a series res circuit, so the resonant frequency formula is 1 upon pi root LC, which is C1. The value of frequency is 50 hertz, 1 upon 2 pi L is 0.3 capacitance C1. So, this will give us the value of C1 as 33.77 microfarad. Now in second part, we have a branch consisting of resistance of 12 ohm, inductance 0.3 Henry, capacitance 33.77 microfarads. It is connected in parallel with another capacitance which is having value C2. The source which is connected across this parallel combination is 100 volts, 60 hertz. And it is given in the problem that the current in this circuit is minimum. So, when current is minimum again, this is the resonance condition. So, the new resonant frequency is 60 hertz. Now, corresponding to the 60 hertz, we will calculate the impedance of first branch, second branch, then we calculate the admittances, net admittance and the net susceptance of the circuit should be zero in order to achieve the resonant condition. This will be similar to what we had done in the previous problem. So, let us calculate XL naught which is 2 pi F naught L. 2 pi into 60 into 0.3. So, 113.10 ohm. We can calculate the value of Xc1 naught. 1 upon 2 
आई एफ नोट सी वन वन अपॉन टू पाई इंटू सिक्सटी इंटू थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सेवन इंटू टेन डेस्ट्रॉ माइनस सिक्स गिविंग एस द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सी वन नॉट एस सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव फाइव ओम सो वी कैन राइट इम्पीडेंस ऑफ Z1 is R plus J XL naught minus XC1 naught. The resistance was 12 plus J 113.1 minus 78.55, giving us a value of Z1 is 12 plus J 34.55 ohms. The Z2 impedance, which is equal to minus J X2, from here we can calculate admittance Y2 as one upon Z Z2, which will be J upon X2. From Z1 we can calculate the value of Y1, which is one upon Z1. So this will give us the value of y1 as 8.97 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus j 0.0258. This is what well the value which you can get easily by using the complex mode of calculator. Since the two branches they are connected in parallel, so the net admittance y it will be equal to y1 plus y2. Y1 is 8.97 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus j 0.0258, while y2 is plus j xc upon xc2. Now, as per the condition of resonance, the net resistance of the circuit should be zero. This part should be zero. This j Point zero two five eight plus j upon j into one upon x e two should be equal to zero. Or what we get from here that one upon x e two it should be equal to point zero two five eight. X e two will be equal to one upon two pi f c. Let's write the value of x c two first. X c two will be equal to thirty eight point five six ohm, which is equal to one upon two pi f c two. Value of frequency is sixty hertz. This is equal to c two. So the value of second capacitance. Which is to be connected in parallel to achieve the resonance condition is sixty eight point four four microfarad. I'm hoping that this video is helpful for you people. If you find the content on this channel helpful to use, please consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching the video.